Welcome back to Infigyan once again in this very exciting and challenging video on algebraic expressions and equations. The given equation is x power 9 minus 5778 times x power 9 by 2 plus 1 equal to 0. Then we have to evaluate k from this equation. So I will begin with second equation itself. So I can write x power 4 minus kx square plus 1 equal to 0. Now, if you see the first equation, then x equal to 0 is not satisfying. So, we will conclude x is non-zero. So, I can divide both sides by x square. Let's divide this side also by x square. So, I will be writing x square minus k plus 1 by x square equal to 0. Or I can write x square plus 1 over x square. This is our required k. That means we have to calculate the value of x square plus 1 over x square for our answer. Now the turn of first equation. I will be writing here equation once x power 9 minus 5778 x power 9 by 2 plus 1 equal to 0. Now I will divide both sides by x power 9 by 2. This side also. Let's split our numerator. So I will be writing x power 9 by 2 minus 5778 plus 1 over x power 9 by 2 equal to 0. Or I can write x power 9 by 2 plus 1 over x power 9 by 2 equal to 5778. 9 by 2 is 4 and a half. So let me write x power 4 and half means square root x plus 1 over x power 4 square root x equal to 5778. Let me call this is our equation number 1. So with the help of equation number 1, we have to calculate the value of x square plus 1 over x square which will be equal to our required k. Let us rewrite our equation 1. x power 4 root x plus 1 over x power 4 root x equal to 5778. Now let us consider x root x plus 1 over x root x equal to a. Condition on a will be a positive as x is positive. Now, I will consider cubing both sides. So, let me write here power 3 and this side I will write power 3. a plus b whole cube in LHS we will apply. So, x root x whole cube. So, x cube times root x whole cube it is x root x. So, x cube times x root x, it will be x power 4 root x. b cube 1 over x power 4 root x plus 3ab product will be 1. So, 3 only in bracket a plus b. So, the same value I will write a here. RHS will be a cube. Now, this is 5778 from equation number 1. So, I will write 5778 plus 3a equal to a cube or I can write a cube minus 3a minus 5778 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation and I will use rational root theorem and synthetic division method. So, first of all, I need to find out eligible factors of 5778. So, I can write plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 6, plus minus 9, plus minus 18, plus minus 27, plus minus 54, plus minus 107 and so on. And leading coefficient, we can write only plus minus 1. Now we have to take the ratio of constant to leading coefficient for our base solution. So, if I will plug in 1, 2, 3, 6, 
then a cube will give maximum 216 and see the constant is 5778 it won't match with this so rhs won't be zero so let us consider the first value that would be 18 so i will be writing equation once a cube minus 3a minus 5778 equal to 0 this is our equation if i will apply a equal to 9 then 729 minus 27 it won't match so let us write a equal to 18 18 cube minus 3 times 18 54 minus 5778 18 cube is 5832 minus 54 minus 5778 if I will add these two, I will be having 5832 with negative sign. So this will be cancelled out. RHS will be 0. Conclusion is A equal to 18 is our base solution. Now I will use synthetic division method. So let me write all the coefficient of cubic equation. So coefficient of A cube, it is 1. So I will write 1. Coefficient of a square, it is not there, so 0. Coefficient of a minus 3, constant minus 5, 7, 7, 8. Leading coefficient, we will write 1 as it is. Now we have to multiply with our base solution 18. So 18 times 1, 18, 18. 18 times 18, 324. This will be 321. 18 times 321, it will be equal to 5778, summation will be 0. Now see, here we have coefficient for quadratic equation. So I will be writing a square plus 18a plus 321 equal to 0. Now you can see all the coefficients of this quadratic equation is positive. So the value of a or better is to say the value of real a which will satisfy this quadratic equation it would be negative only and our condition on a was a should be greater than zero so we will reject this equation as we are having complex solutions so rejected only a equal to 18 will be accepted let me write here a equal to 18 now a was our substitution it was x root x plus 1 over x root x now i will consider another substitution it would be root x plus 1 over root x suppose it is equal to b let condition on b will be b positive now I will consider cubing once again. See what will come out. Power 3, power 3. Now a plus b whole cube. So root x cube. So what I will write? It is x root x. 1 over root x whole cube. So I, again I will write 1 over x root x. And this value is 18. Plus 3 times product will be 1 bracket means addition of these two it will be b and rhs will be b cube here i am going to write 18 plus 3b equal to b cube take all the term to rhs b cube minus 3b minus 18 equal to 0 now we can use method of factorization so let us apply method of factorization so we can write b cube minus 3b minus 27 and then i will be writing plus 9 to match minus 18 now we can write b cube minus 27 it will be 3 cube minus 3b plus 9 equal to 0 now a cube minus b cube so i will write b minus 3 in other bracket b square plus 3b plus 9 and here I will take minus 3 common. So in bracket b minus 3 equal to 0. Now I will take b minus 3 overall common. So let me write here 
b minus 3 and in bracket I will have b square plus 3b plus 9 and then minus 3 equal to 0 or I can write b minus 3 in one bracket b square plus 3b plus 6 equal to 0. Conclusion is b minus 3 will be 0 or b square plus 3b plus 6 equal to 0. Let's solve for the value of b and b is root x plus 1 over root x. So let us solve both the equations b minus 3 equal to 0 and b square plus 3b plus 6 equal to 0 b square plus 3b plus 6 equal to 0 b minus 3 equal to 0 from this equation b equal to 3 now from this quadratic equation we can only check discriminant so it will be equal to b square minus 4 times 1 times 6 9 minus 24 so I can write it will be negative value. So it will generate complex solutions. So we can reject. Rejected. Now b equal to 3. b was our substitution root x plus 1 over root x equal to 3. Now we have we have to calculate our target is x square plus 1 over x square. So I will consider squaring. So I will write a square so x plus b square so 1 over x plus 2 times product so 2 equal to 9. So x plus 1 over x equal to 7. Now Again, we will consider squaring. So let me write here x plus 1 over x equal to 7. Let's consider squaring both sides. So power 2, power 2. Now a plus b whole square. a square plus b square plus 2ab equal to 49. Now this x we can cancel. So x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 equal to 49 or I can write x square plus 1 over x square. This will be equal to 49 minus 2, 47 and this is our required k. So k will be equal to 47 and this brings the end of the video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.